Hello Summoners! Matthew from the Nintendo Treehouse here with some quick tips for the Fire Emblem Heroes game. A new game in the main Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Three Houses for the Nintendo Switch system, is upon us. In this entry, you play the part of a professor in the Officer's Academy and must choose one of three houses to teach. From the great land of Foldland, the Professor Byleth and the leaders of each of the three houses are also playable in Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, I'd like to introduce these newly added heroes and give everyone a few tips for using them. In Fire Emblem Three Houses, players can choose to play as a male or female version of Byleth. Byleth is the child of Geralt, and they both worked as mercenaries before coming to the Officer's Academy at Garrick Mock Monastery. Although Byleth had no previous experience as a professor, the students seem to respect Byleth a lot. Byleth also seems to share a connection with a certain mysterious girl. At the start of the crossover event in Fire Emblem Heroes, players can potentially summon the female character Byleth, proven professor. She has the potential to do massive damage with her skill kit. If damage is done to her, Wrath's effect combined with the damage of her special, Raptured Sky, can rack up a lot of consistent damage. This special will even increase the damage further when fighting dragons and beasts, so that units that are difficult to defeat like Idun can be taken out fairly easily. Even to Barnes, guaranteed follow-up attack can be cancelled with the effects of Byleth's weapon, Creator Sword. And she can even take out to Barn on the counterattack. The effect of Fury will do a good job of dropping her HP down so that she can maximize her set's effectiveness. However, in order to keep her HP high enough to survive enemy attacks, I would suggest teaming her up with a character that can keep her HP above the danger zone. Because she is more dangerous at lower HP, I would suggest a seal like Brazen Attack Defense no to complement this strength. Next up is the heir to the Adrestian Empire, Edelgard. Edelgard is the house leader of the Black Eagles, and has so much confidence in her role as the leader that it can intimidate other students. In fact, she is completely fine walking down the path to her goals alone to accomplish them. She is extremely driven and seems to have a lot of ambition. In Fire Emblem Heroes, Edelgard is a defensive powerhouse with her weapon and does extremely well out on her own. This is highlighted by the effects of her weapon, Victorious Axe, as she can make a guaranteed follow-up attack if the number of foes within two spaces of her is greater than or equal to the number of allies in the same space. Additionally, Although she is weak to magic, her A, B, and C skills make her almost invincible to close-range physical attacks. Even sword units like Legendary Roy and Levitain will have to think twice before engaging in combat with her. I recommend giving her a close defense seal to further increase her already high defense. Dimitri is the heir to the Holy Kingdom of Fergus and the house leader of the Blue Lions. Dimitri is chivalrous, kind, and has a strong sense of duty. He also treats everyone with respect, regardless of their social status, but seems to have something weighing on his mind. I wonder what it could be. In Fire Emblem Heroes, Dimitri boasts a monstrous physical attack with his Noble Lance and Death Blow 4. If used strategically, he can even use it to guarantee a follow-up attack based on the HP values of himself and his foe. He can use this effect to take out tough opponents, like foes with high speed and defense, or foes that can disable a skill that guarantees a special attack, like Creed, Legendary Tiki, Tiki Torpid Dragon, and Na. A new skill called Lull Attack Defense not only neutralizes bonuses to attack and defense from skills like Fortify and Rally, but can further decrease those stats when in combat with Dimitri. Because of this effect and his high attack, I suggest giving him the Heavy Blade Seal to unleash his special, Vengeance, more often for more damage. Because his weapon relies on HP values, it is not a bad idea to pair him up with a healer. Last but not least is Claude, the house leader of the Golden Deer and the grandson of the current head of the Leicester Alliance. Claude is charming, has a quick wit, and shrugs off his mistakes with a smile. He also has a knack for strategy and isn't below using a bit of trickery. He can be a bit of a troublemaker, but his unpredictability also makes him a great ally. In Fire Emblem Heroes, Claude has a great talent for weakening his foes to give himself a great advantage. His weapon, Cunning Bow, has the potential of lowering all of his foes' stats by 5 when in combat with them. 
This is accomplished by giving Claude as many bonuses as possible and inflicting as many penalties on the enemy as possible so that the difference is more than 10. The easiest way to accomplish this is Hong Cavalry, which gives him a plus 6 to both attack and speed for a total of 12. Claude also comes with Lull Speed Defense, which can also help weaken foes. If he receives a boost from Hong Cavalry and uses the effects of Lull Speed Defense, Claude's speed will be at plus 6 while the enemy is at minus 8. With this advantage, he can even do a follow-up attack against Legendary Alm when Alm attacks with the effects of Darting Blow 4. Of course, me, okay? relying on boosts alone might come back to haunt Claude, as there are characters and seals with abilities that can nullify boosted stats. In this case, you will have to rely on more penalties instead. Using Mordecai or Summer Ursula's skill sets can get Claude to meet the conditions for Cunning Bow's effect easily. The seal that Claude uses depends on the situation, but equipping him with the Chill Attack 3 seal so that he has a minus 7 attack penalty to inflict on a target will also help him penalize a strong foe on the map. Distant Defense could help make Claude stronger defensively for counterattacks, and Darting Blow could help ensure that he gets follow up attacks. Claude is a man that is used to adapting to the situation after all. As you can see, the characters from Fire Emblem Three Houses bring a lot of personality and new possibilities to your teams in Fire Emblem Heroes. And don't forget, you can receive Violet, Tested Professor, for Fire Emblem Heroes when purchasing Fire Emblem Three Houses. Please note that he has a different skill set compared to his female counterpart, Violet, Proven Professor. For details, check out the website listed in the description of this video. That's all for today, Summoners. Good luck!